Hi everybody and welcome to Heel Heat, our Ring of Honor show for the week. My name is George Coles, this is my tag team partner, Russ Haas. I'm dead? Yep. Gary Rhodes, everybody. And the first thing we're going to start off was the first thing of the show, um, the Top Prospect Tournament, another match, uh, another good match, Antonio Thomas versus Tadarius Thomas, and they're not brothers. <laughs> By far. Um, I was really impressed with these two guys, because these are two guys that don't really get a lot of television time. And they they worked well with the crowd, and they worked well with the television. The two things you got to work the best with. Exactly. Um, I've been really impressed with the whole tournament itself, the top the top prospect tournament overall. The the last one they did brought us guys like Elgin and Michael Bennett, and a couple others that became Ring of Honor mainstays. I like it for a for a group like Ring of Honor that loses talent frequently that they have to do something like this every now and again and bring some of the other top indie talent into the fold. I thought it was a great match. These guys did a lot of uh, moves I, you don't really see a lot of. Uh, Tadarius kind of has a capoeira gimmick yeah. where he does that, um, what was the movie, Only the Strong? Yeah. That, or, or for all you people a little bit younger than us, Eddie Gordo from uh, Tekken series is capoeira. Uh, he does that style of fighting and brings it in. We... Sorry. And I, I like the handstand kick to the head, which was kind of a flash finish out of nowhere. I liked it. It, it was kind of surprising, kind of refreshing. Uh, to Darius Thomas gets a win. I thought it was a good opening match. I did too. Like I said, these two guys that aren't usually on television look great on television. Now we had a no the next match was a guy that hasn't been on television for a little bit versus a mainstay on the, on their show Grizzly Redwood returning versus Red Roderick Strong. I like I like this match because it's two guys that have an absolute passion for professional wrestling. I mean Grizzly Redwood is five foot three. He's a hundred and nothing pounds, but he's one of the toughest. He's five foot nothing, a hundred nothing pounds. Exactly. You're quoting Rudy, huh? A little bit. Oh, man. Sorry, folks. You go into the city movie. Anyway. <laughs> These two guys, I mean, Redwood is a guy that should have no business in a wrestling ring, and he does not look out of place. He doesn't. Uh, like I was telling you, this is the first time I saw him. He look, He kind of reminds you of, like, a old one, two, three kid, Spike Dudley kind of, you know, guy that gets beat up but just doesn't stop. I like the littlest lumberjack gimmick too. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Looks like the brawny man. Roderick Strong. What can you say about the guy? I think he's one of the absolute top talents in Ring of Honor. He's a guy that's been a, a multiple time champion there, um, with the tag titles, the world. He's been a world champion, a, a TV champion, I believe, as well. And the guy, I mean, his in ring work is so crisp and it's so. I mean, there's really not many better than him in the promotion. No. Uh, like I said, this match here was, an, it wasn't that long, but I, I really enjoyed it. I wish it was longer. Um, like some of the moves they were coming up with, you can just see that these guys two worked really well together. And that's one thing about Roderick Strong I've noticed is he works well with just about anybody. Yep. And at the end of the match, Roderick, after the match, would not let go of the stronghold on Grizzly Redwood, which brought out Michael Elgin, who's the guy he's been feuding with for the past little bit since the House of Truth broke up. And Michael Al Elgin basically runs off Roderick Strong, and he's in the ring waiting for our next match of the night, Michael Elgin versus Mike Bennett. I like the match. I don't, I don't know, did you, were you high on it? or I liked it. I mean, any time that Maria Kanellis is on my screen, I'm okay with that. Exactly. Um, the finish... Elgin kind of, re, uh, he kind of had a high hold on the power bomb, and you could see he was kind of not really struggling with it 100%, but he just had the lift wrong. Yeah. Other than that, I mean, the match was awesome. I thought these two worked great together, too. I thought it was really good. I, I, 
the evolution of Mike Bennett's character when he first got into Ring of Honor, he was someone that I was like, okay, what he doesn't really deserve to be here other than his look. And his character has evolved, and his in-ring capabilities have evolved since then. And and he's he's a guy that's become one of the highlights of the show at this point. I mean, the match he had a final battle, which they showed a couple weeks ago, versus um, Jerry Lynn, showed how far he's come from when he first started there. And I I always like that. If I like a guy that'll come in and you don't think nothing or not much about him and he changes your opinion. I, I like that. I like that people you know, it shows me that they got they got character, that they got they got the drive to succeed. I, I think I, I like the guy. I really do. I think both the guys in this had the drive and the character and I think they're both gonna be tremendously successful in wrestling. Because one needs a haircut, right? Yeah. Michael Elgin. <laughs> Next, we had the Gauntlet Tag Match to see who the number one contender was for, or is going to be for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions, the Briscoe Brothers. Yep. The first teams in were the American Wolves versus the Bravado Brothers. Out of the whole gauntlet, I thought that that was the best part of it was these two working together. The Bravados, um, who have been wrestling in Japan for a little bit, before they left, they were a comedy lower on the card team. And now they've come back and they, they actually look like a serious team with serious contendership. They uh, deserve to be there. Yeah, I, I liked I liked the first the first part of the gauntlet. I thought it was awesome. Plus, you had uh, Charlie Haas, my brother apparently, coming out to be you know to the match, and he's just berating all the teams, saying that him and Shelton are the best tag team in the world. Why he don't know why they're they the world's world greatest. Tag they team. are the world's greatest tag team. Um, I like this. Wolves get over, and next the next tag team is. Scum, Jimmy Jacobs and Steve Carino. Uh, again, another another hard-fought area. You could see the Wolves used a little bit of psychology where they were trying to get it done quickly. Which they did. They got over, what, about five minutes? Pretty pretty rapidly. And um, they beat Scum. Scum attacks them after, leaving them weaker for the next people coming out, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. And the final... The final two teams standing are the American Wolves and O'Reilly and Fish, a team that's been feuding with each other for a little bit. Uh, the Wolves are weakened from going through the first two teams and also being attacked by Scum after their portion of the gauntlet. I liked it. I liked. I liked that Bobby, that uh, Fish and O'Reilly got over on this because it was, for them to have lost to a Wolves that had been weakened would have weakened them as a team. Well, I'll see. I also like it because this is their second match. Now they're they're one and one, and after the title match or whoever, if they win or not, that this will, that'll be their rubber match. And usually the rubber match, for most most of the time, is the best match. And this match was okay. It was short, but it was okay. But their first match was awesome. So I like to see a, you know a third match. Yeah, I liked it, and it it was good. There are two teams that are really similar in ring ring style. And I, I like I like the moves they were hitting. The the brainbuster high kick combination that O'Reilly and Fish hit is is a great takeout finisher in my opinion. I thought it was good. It builds them. I let I'm I'm wanting to see O'Reilly and Fish versus the Br- the Briscoe brothers. I think it's going to be a great match. So do I. And plus, I like the fact that the Wolves went down in the middle of the ring. Yeah. You know, I always like that when you know, when you have a finish of a match. And it just clean went, a clean finish, just like O'Reilly and Fish had, you know, lost clean to the Wolves uh, last month. Exactly. So, uh, like I said, I, I'm I'm anticipating a great third match. Me too, and I'm at- anticipating a good match between O'Reilly, Fish, and the the Briscoe brothers. Oh, there's always a good match the Briscoe brothers. There you go. But always new new blood against them is mm-hmm. always good. Not the new blood from WCW. Oh no. Although Kidman and Shane Douglas for him might be good. Yeah, there you go. If you could get Kidman or Shane away from the pizza long enough. Exactly. But anyway. Big Shane. Overall, um, out of five stars, what would you give the show? Well, I mean, it hit on all the points, you know. It wasn't uh, a spectacular show, but it was not a horrible show. I- I'll give it four and a half. I'm go a little bit lower than you and give it a four. Um... I, I, I did enjoy the show, don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of gauntlet matches in general. I, I don't see the concept, I don't see how it's fair to the 
the teams. And I understand wrestling is not always fair, and they try to do new concepts. It did put eight guys on television and give them a television paycheck, which is good. But it's just not a concept that I'm, I'm a fan of. I'm not a fan of the gauntlet match. So that detracts it a little bit. Well, see, I was with four because there's the four matches. I wasn't going to, you know, unless something spectacular happened. But that fourth match, the, the gauntlet, I was impressed with it. That's why I gave it the extra. And that's a little bit of different opinion that we had. There we go. But basically, that's all I got to say about this show. Is there anything you wanted to add? No, nah, that's about it, man. I'm George Coles. Gary Rhodes. And this has been our Heel Heat Ring of Honor show.